Is crime in Canada going up or down? Is crime going up, but people just aren't reporting as much? Joining us now from Ottawa to talk about this is Scott Newark, who is a crime analyst, formerly with the Police Association, a lawyer. He's got a lot of skills, but today he's here because he wrote a report on this subject for the McDonald Laurier Institute. Welcome to the show, Scott. Thanks, Ezra. Now, tell me what your findings are. Is crime in Canada going up or down? It's not that simple. This is the Canadian justice system, so it's not necessarily that simple to, to give an answer to that. It depends on what kind of crime you're talking about and what the periods of time that you're actually reflecting on. And part of the reason why we did this report, and this is the second one that uh, we've done over the last uh, three years, is to actually look at the methodology that is used by Statistics Canada to present that message because it does tend to come out, you know, every, every uh, sort of the dead of the summer, you get this report that says, uh, don't worry, be happy, go back to sleep, crime is down. Mm -hmm. So we looked at the specifics of how it is that the information is gathered, analyzed, and then reported to come up and say, and that's the subtitle of, of the report is, that there are still more questions here than answers about that. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I think Canadians deserve better information about exactly the question you asked about what is going on in crime in Canada. Well, it's very political, for example, what you choose to call a crime or how you measure it. Tell me, for example, about uh, uh, the, the rate of crimes that are reported to police at all. How many yeah. crimes happen that people simply don't bother calling the cops out of, they, they think the cops can't do anything, they think the cops won't do anything, they just don't want to go through the red tape or the paperwork. What portion of crimes actually are brought to the government's attention? That's a very good question. The, uh, and it's, the source of the information actually comes from Statistics Canada themselves. Every five years they do a massive public survey called a victimization survey. And they reported in, uh, I believe it was 2004, that it was only, they survey for eight specific crimes, but it does include violent crime. And it was that 34% of crimes were being reported to the police. 34, and, so two-thirds of crimes correct. are not even being brought to the government's attention. Correct. And but the last one they did was in 2009, and it's now down to 31%. Huh. Okay. Now, now what do you fairness, think the reason for that? What do you think the reason well, is for that? They, you know what? Stats can use to actually report on that, Ezra. And they included things like what you said is that people had reached the conclusion that nothing was going to happen. Okay. Also, what was, used to be reported in the crime stats report from StatsCan was that some people didn't report crime because they were concerned about retribution. Okay. Mm. That's a separate issue than what the crime stats report is because obviously... You know, the, the, uh, the police can only report what's get re what gets reported to them. Right. But in terms of the reliability of that information, what happens is the stats can uh, gloms together all of this data. And guess what? The offenses that aren't being reported to the police, those are the offenses that are going down the most according to crime stats. So guess what? Crime is down. Huh. Well, okay, so you need to be able to understand that methodology to be able to question whether what they're actually saying is accurate or not. Right. Here's some stats right here. So po according to uh, uh, your report, police reported crime is down 6% over the last year, but that's because of some di different categories of crime. Uh, yes. <coughs> minor thefts, for example, uh, 30,000 fewer incidents. Mischief. 24,000 fewer instances. So I guess those very minor crimes declining that much would swamp uh, more serious crimes that might be up by a few thousand. Am I right? Yeah, that is correct. And it also includes what's uh, known as assault one or the lowest level of assault as the ones that aren't being as, uh, reported. And I think that's an issue that, frankly, as a society, we should maybe be paying attention to. Like, why is it that we, people aren't reporting crime? Because that's a different question. If we choose to just simply tolerate crime and say, well, you know, Nothing's going to happen, so I'm not going to do anything about it. That's one thing, as opposed to saying crime itself is actually going down. Yeah. Now, uh, homicides were up 7% to, to 598. Now, that, that's a small number, 598, thank goodness. So there might be a blip here or there that causes it. Do you, do you know why this would be up 7% or do you think that's not even a statistically uh, important change? I wouldn't say that it's unimportant, but I think you're right in terms of it being a blip. Uh, my point about it is, is that uh, that information is from the actual crime stats report but it was kind of buried within the report when it came out last july do you remember hearing about that no i don't no i don't either okay and there are other methodology issues that are that are important to note here they've got something that they use called the most serious incident report which is if somebody's got uh, multiple potential charges arising out of a single incident they only report it as one crime being right. the most serious offense right that's one thing if for example somebody you know shoplifts something 
and they stick it in their pocket. At that point, they're guilty of theft under and as well possession of stolen property, but we'd only prosecute them for the theft. But how about the guy who's on bail, uh, also on probation and subject to a firearms prohibition because of his past record, gets drunk, loaded up with drugs to sell, is carrying a, a loaded a handgun, goes and carjacks a vehicle, takes off with it, bangs into a couple other vehicles, hits somebody, gets chased by the police, takes off from them, gets stopped, gives a false name, assaults the police officer. Okay, I just described about 15 different offenses. In the methodology used in the crime stats report, guess what? That comes out as one offense. Mm -hmm. We only have 15 seconds left, but I want to show one last chart. Sure. Uh, this is very troubling. From your report, it shows that sexual assault against children yes. are up more than 150%. Since 2008, child pornography up 40% since 2010. That's a 290% increase in the last 10 years. I haven't seen this in the press. Has this uh, been something that's studiously ignored by the media party? Well, again, it's, I mean, the line that I use, frankly, or the two of them is you got to go behind the headlines. You got to delve into the report to see the data that's actually there. And I tell you, the importance of this is not only for operational reforms to see how our justice system is working. But this is, will inform how to make policy changes because it's not about being tough about crime. It's about being honest about crime so we can be smart about crime. Thanks, Scott. We're out of time. Great to see you. Come back again soon. You.